Good afternoon, everybody. It is a gorgeous Sunday afternoon. I am sitting out on my porch enjoying the beautiful scenery, beautiful fall not really fall yet temperatures I've got hummingbirds over there that are just chirping and going crazy but I'm just sitting out on the porch enjoying the beautiful weather but I wanted to share with you today some things that I've purchased in the past week or so I wanted to show you some stickers and different things I've gotten let me move this over here kind of as a backdrop I don't use an Erin Condren um, planner. I've shared with you my bullet journal that I do, and I, I really love it. But I did order some um, stickers from an Etsy shop, Love Like Ryan, as you can see on there. Give her a little shout out. And this is like water intake, all of that. Um, sorry for the boo-boo on my hand, too. But anyway, these are some that I purchased this week just in fall colors, like to use in your bullet journals or planners, that kind of thing. Just some cute little different ones. And then these are like little strips that you can pull off there that are real cute too in all the fall. I wanted some fall stuff. So I uh, got those from the Etsy shop. Now, I will have to say that I have bought things from Etsy shop and, you know, they're a lot thinner because I know that they're printing them themselves. I personally am finding out that I don't like the Etsy homemade printed stickers as much as I do the ones that you can buy commercial wise. Just me, just my preference, nothing against. Love Like Ryan, what I bought from her is really cute. But these stickers I bought from scrapbook.com and the turnaround time to getting these orders from scrapbook is amazingly fast. And I ordered some more things today and there's a 12% discount on there today plus a particular brand. Oh gosh, I can't remember. I'm wanting to say Bow Bunny or something like that. But anyway, a couple of the things I bought today had an additional 15% off of that. So it took it straight off that particular line. And then on my total, it took 12% off um, for some more stickers. But I'm just really doing a lot of journaling. And I love uh, anything fall. Getting ready to put some fall stuff out in my house this week. But I'm just going to share with you what I got. The I Ams from Simple Stories. Just all kind of I Ams on there. And I thought I would use this in my gratitude sections when I talk about, or actually just in my regular journaling. But to state some things that I am, I am blessed, highly blessed. I am favored by God. I am a good grandmother. I am hopefully a good wife. So I think it would be fun to put some things that I think that I am to share, you know, for my family to read in the future when my journals are shared. But, you know, we're so bad sometimes to um, to praise others or to talk about what others mean to us. But we need to write in our journals things about ourselves, how we feel, what we feel about certain things, what we feel about current events going on, how certain things make us feel. Our children will love reading that in the future. My mom told me just the other day she found a, a journal she's never been a big journaler but she did um find one and she said looking back on it some of the stuff is funny and I said well don't throw it away because I want it so but just that's from simple stories and then I ordered um from illustrate fates illustrates faith just this little packet here 19 pieces I just like the little arrows and different things on there and I wished I had opened this but I'll never be able to open it with one hand but this is pumpkin spice from simple stories and you can just see it's all kind of little fall ephemera trees flowers oh gosh I love anything with little birds on it and the little mason jar in there I love those My, these hummingbirds are going crazy they're fighting over there on the theater 
but um, it's got some words in it. And every okay, here's everything that's in it. Here's everything that's in it. And that's all the loose ephemera. Just really, really cute. Really cute stuff. So I really enjoy. And this is small enough that I can use this in my bullet journal. So if I, you know, because I like to dress up my pages. And so the same thing, pumpkin spice from Simple Stories. I ordered the big 12 by 12 sheets. I love the 12 by 12 sticker sheets because I get a lot of wear out of them. And this is the, the same stuff that's in the ephemera, but it's just in stickers and it's larger. And then what I love about these 12 by 12 sheets, they also come with borders on them and you can use all of it on one page. You can use part of it. So I'm really into the 12 by 12 sheets. Do you not love that little truck with the pumpkins in it? Do you not love that little banner? And there's the word grateful. Oh my gosh, I just love all of it. The bird saying tweet. You can ask Rhett, oh my gosh, I wish I had that right now. <laughs> Caramel apple, that would be great. So, but I love that sheet. This is also from Simple Stories. This is called So Fancy. These run anywhere from two, seemed like it was two forty-eight, two fifty, up to three or four dollars, and that is that's really good because I, I some of them are as high as five dollars, but a lot of these that I bought were on sale. Love the telephones, love anything with cameras on it. Really, really, really love this typewriters. I used to type on the old typewriters. I love them. I love them. Hello small is that not adorable and then I went ahead and bought the Christmas one as well and these are off of scrapbook.com because cr good Christmas stuff gets gone so quickly the bicycle oh the deer head the truck with the wreath I love all of this it'll be time to start decorating pretty soon and then I bought also from Simple Stories a black and gold lettering with the gray. You know, I didn't even realize this was a wedding one. But I've always got somebody's wedding. I did not realize the story of us. Well, Susan, yes, just married. But a lot of it you could just use too, just for regular. Did not even realize that. So, that's what I got for stickers today. Now, Several of you have been, I guess this is going to be a conglomerate of everything. Several of you have been very interested in my Bible studies, my scriptures, and I am so excited that y'all have been enjoying that. That means the world to me. Some of you have written comments that have absolutely just touched my heart. So I just wanted to remind you the quest is what I've been doing my whole Bible reading in. And you can see I write in mine, I highlight, I, it's just for me. So that when something touches me, something really stands out to me, I write in it. I date every chapter as I read it, I date it. And so I am getting very close to finishing. I'm actually on my chronological readings in Acts. So the New Testament's fairly easy to read. So in probably another month or so, I will have read the whole entire Bible. Fanfare, please. <laughs> I shouldn't have waited this late to have done it. But you can see like in, in right here in July, I read that. But now I'm on the chronological reading. So I'm going back, even though I've already read it, I'm going back so that I can say I read every scripture. And if you have not seen my video, I'll link it below. Study the Bible a different way with me is an easier way to read and study the Bible. Now, several of you have asked about these. I have bought, oh my gosh, no telling how many of these Quest Bibles. It's just the hardback. And you can get them off of half.com. www.halfhalf.com. Now, you will have to watch it. You should be able to get this Bible for 5 to $10. There's some people on there that's got them like for $50, $60, $70. You can go buy a brand new Bible. But keep a watch. And if you want a good study Bible, cheap. It has flat shipping rate of $3.99 on half. 
watch it. I ordered my niece one uh, this weekend. Had it it'll get to her house this week because she's she's gotten excited about what I'm doing and she's wanting to do it too. So keep a watch on Quest. I mean on half for the Quest Study Bible. If you want a good study Bible cheap right now, you should be able to get it for five to ten dollars. And so don't pay you no know, thirty, forty, fifty dollars for it because you can get it. I ordered this this week just to have, and this is the one year chronological Bible. Now I've read the quest chronologically. I printed out, I've shown you this, but this one is already laid out chronologically. Now see, I bought it from half and it has a couple of little things underlined. You may get things like that. Oh, I just see that somebody wrote, think what guides those around I can't read a writing but you may get a little writing in it when you buy it but you know I don't care because when I can get it that cheap but I just went ahead and bought this one this one's not a study Bible but it is a NIV chronological Bible and I got it very cheap I'm wanting to say like five dollars plus 3.99 shipping and this is the thing I'm excited about to share with y'all my brand new Bible I got yesterday at Lifeway Christian Bookstore. This is a study Bible and it is the English Standard Version. I did some research on YouTube and on the internet to see what was one of the best study Bibles around and so many people were recommending the English Standard Version. It was compiled by 96 different uh, people who are um, just, you know, I think it's even got it in here. You can see it's a very thick Bible. So it is, it's, and I'll show you why. It's brand new. Look at the beginning of Ruth. It gives the author and title, the date, the theme. It gives you a colored map in every book of the approximate area that it took place. It tells you the purpose, occasion and background, the content, the key themes. I love that, that it gives you the key themes about it. The history of salvation summary, library features, and then it gives you this great outline telling you everything about it. And then it gets into it. Now look at this. This is how much scripture is there on the first page. And look at all of the study content below. I am going to be in heaven when I get into this. I'm going to finish reading in um, my quest over there. But I was so excited. I got this for $55 at, Christway, at Lifeway yesterday. And I had sang and ministered at a church uh, the other day and they gave me some money even though they didn't have to I certainly didn't expect it but it was a love gift from them so I took that and bought me a new Bible with it but I was just looking at it and there is so much here's all the different contributors in it people from different theological um, backgrounds and um, The guy at the bookstore told me that it was one of the greatest study Bibles out there because it gave several different opinions and several different denominations and all have contributed to it. So it has a preface that is just very in-depth, an overview of the Bible, a survey of the history of salvation. Look at all of that. It's going to take me a while. That's what I told my husband. I said, I won't be reading through this quick. This talks about the theology of the Old Testament, and it talks about the eras in between the Old Testament and the New Testament, because I had wondered about that, and uh, it goes on over here and talks about it. On each thing, it gives such good outlines. Here is the date of the Exodus of the children of Israel, and I know I won't say that right. Pentateuch, Pentateuch, but anyway, that's the first five Gospels, is what that is, or let me, let me set, let me go back here, the Pentateuch, and I'm probably not saying that at all, is not simply the beginning of the Bible, 
it's also the foundation of the Bible. It's what was considered the law. It's the first books of the Bible that in the Old Testament that they used as the law. It says here, a review of the contents show that its center of gravity is the law given at Mount Sinai. So I've got a lot of reading to do, a lot of learning still to do. And then when you get to Genesis, here it gives you all that information. It gives you time periods on it, the history, Genesis and history, Genesis and science. So oh, that should be interesting. Reading Genesis in the 21st century. There's the area there. And then here is the outline. Is this not going to be neat, y'all? And then it starts with Genesis. And this is not something that, you know, everybody won't read everything. But I just, you know, <laughs> look at this first page of Genesis. How much scripture and then how much studies on it. And that's the reason it's so thick. I'm excited about it, though. I'm really excited. They had it in hardback for 35 They had just some special ones um, for 55 and then they had some other ones for 80 and it was just the newer um, the newer covers were the more expensive ones and mine was one of the ones of the others. So I am so, oh, I underlined a little bit in it in church today. I did take it to church. So I'm excited about it, the English Standard Version. So this is gonna be my new Bible after I finish the quest. And, and I have a smaller Bible that my daughter and son-in-law gave me that I take to church with me a lot that's a lot more comfortable to take. And But I, I went ahead and took this today because I just kind of looked in it some too. So I'm excited. So I just wanted to share with y'all my little haul from this weekend and my new stickers and my new Bibles. And just to tell you, thank you to all of you that have commented. Um, people are very interested in the... Um, the videos that I'm doing on the scriptures and several of you have given me suggestions on things that you want to cover and I have written those down. I've taken every one of them into consideration and the thing about it is I just don't want to get on here and ramble when I do a lesson. When I get on here I want to be prepared so be patient with me. They are coming but when I get on here to do a teaching lesson I want to make sure that I have all my T's crossed and my I's dotted that I give you the information that I really feel like is from God. So be patient with me. My mother's got a lot of doctor's appointments going on. I've been babysitting, but I'm excited about doing some new lessons and they are coming. So just wanted to do that and do a little haul for you today. Thank you again for your wonderful comments and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I'm so excited about y'all coming over. So I hope that everything that I do You'll either enjoy it or it will be a blessing to your heart. Love you guys. And y'all just have a wonderful week this week. And just remember to, to seek for the positive things in your life. And I'm going to tell you, these books right here, they're the roadmaps to our life. They're the roadmaps that God has given us. And thank God for it. I'm just going to tell you, since I've gotten in the Word and really, really, really studying he has eased a lot of anxiety in my life. Whew. And I know there's those of you out there that have a lot of anxiety about different things. And hey, this world we're living in, it's not hard to do. But this is our roadmap. Love you guys. Be seeing you in the next video.